Melia Inouye celebrates Emmanuel Rodriguez. 55,000 fans fall into stun silence. Melia Inouye tumbles to the canvas for the first time in his 12-year professional career. The usually unflappable Japanese boxer looks to have been rattled by Mexico's Luis Neri. But, in an act befitting his unbeaten record, Inouye rose from the ground and asserted his typical dominance over Neri, knocking him down in the second and fifth round, before finally ending the fight in the sixth. What was for a brief moment, a silent Tokyo Dome erupts as their hometown favorite adds yet another win to his unbeaten records. He is now 27-0 in professional bouts, winning 24 by knockout. Despite the early scare, Inu's victory allowed him to retain his undisputed super bantamweight crown, while also moving him atop the ring magazine's pound-for-pound -pound boxing rankings ahead of such luminaries as Oleksandr Yusik, Terence Crawford, and Canelo Alvarez. Although opinions differ on who is in fact the best in the world at the moment, boxing expert Manuka Kopian calls Inoue the favorite choice for the boxing aficionado. Inoue has been on the ring's top 10 pound-for-pound -pound rankings for 366 weeks now, the second most behind Crawford, and he is clearly one of the most accomplished boxers in the world. So why is he not as well known outside of his native Japan as his contemporaries, Luis Neri, left? Knocks down Inoue in the first round of their super bantamweight boxing title match. Luis Neri, left. Knocks down Inoue in the first round of their super bantamweight boxing title match. Kyoto News via Getty Images. Cash cow. Like many boxers, Inoue's first forays into boxing took place in his home country. He quickly established himself as a promising prospect in the sport, winning the WBC light flyweight title in just his sixth fight. 